Well, if you take a look at this weather, look how beautiful Helsinki is looking right now. I hope you're all doing well as well. No matter what the weather's like, I'm sure you're all having fun doing some running, getting outdoors. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Super pleased to have you around. And old subscribers, glad you're sticking with me as well. Well, if you want a little bit of a teaser and peek into what's coming up on the channel, I've got two exciting videos which I've enjoyed filming. Here's a little intro. Set. Wow, straight away I can feel a difference. Now, but forget about them for the moment. We're here, we're now, and I've got something to talk about. If you watched my last video, you will have known that I was talking about, well, here's a quick recap. Killian Jornet attempted to beat the world record of the furthest distance covered on a track in 24 hours, but failed. Okay, that is the short explanation. But you can go back and check out the video that I did post on it. I shared a few of my thoughts there. Some nice, interesting comments down below as well. I think that there's a really good key takeaway from this whole experience. And I'm not talking about from Killian's perspective, but from us, the viewer, the athlete, the hobby jogger, the aspiring athlete, whatever you may be, valuable that we can take away from it. And that key, core, simple little thing is that if you want to succeed, you have to try. Let me elaborate a little bit more on that so you can get a better grasp. So here in this example, thank you, Killian. He tried to do 24 hour world record on the track without previously trying that before. Many people were inspired from it. Many people thought it's a bit of a tough ask and many people just didn't have any thoughts about it. But I think there's like one core kind of mentality between these people who are super, or what we deem as super successful in their trade of what they do, is the very fact that they are willing to try they're willing to go out there, get outside their comfort zone and try. And sometimes that's going to mean that you don't achieve what you initially set out to do on that first attempt. But if you never try, then you'll never learn. You never get the experience of what you can improve or what may, what, or what challenges you might kind of face in one of those situations. Let's use me as an example on a micro level. Many of you have been watching the videos know me and I uh, had a project to do a 245 marathon. Yeah, long story short, did 259, didn't go as planned on the day. I have the fitness, I have the ability, I know it's something I'm capable of. But it's the first time I fully trained, gave totally focus to running on the roads. And as a result, I've grown so much more and I've learned from key things that maybe I didn't do correctly in that training block that I can kind of introduce to the new training blocks without even thinking about it, without even getting out there and trying it, I would have never found out about those. Plus the reward of going out there doing a 259 marathon anyway, all those experiences, just learning it all, that itself is successful. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Mark, if it's that simple, why isn't everybody else doing it? My thought, my explanation to that is, well, if we say something out loud, generally we're a little bit fearful if we don't follow through with that project. If we say we're gonna do something to other people outside of our kind of small network, then we might think in our minds that if we don't achieve what we said, that to the other people we look like we failed. But we all know those failures aren't actually failures and it's not negative. That's a perception that we feel. I think kind of 
breaking away from that kind of mindset will help you to be able to maybe take something on and push yourself or learn something new for yourself. Because at the end of the day, we live with our own thoughts. We don't live with what X, Y, or Z thinks of me as a result. I never know what they're thinking. They could be thinking, God, he's so good looking. Or they might be thinking, that green yellow jacket looks so, so unfashionable. So whilst I'm saying all of this, I realized I was interviewed on I Run Things YouTube channel by Susie, link down below. And uh, she said to me that she was inspired by me because I'm willing to try new things. And I just remembered that, hey, I've learned this already before. I just needed that reminder. And I think there's another micro kind of lesson in there that you don't always have to learn from the people who are deemed at the very top of their game. Killian Jornet, Usain Bolt, can also learn a hell of a lot from the everyday Joe. So I just wanted to share those little thoughts that have been going around in my mind. Anybody who's made it to this part, thanks for watching, for listening. Hope you got some value from it. Thanks for giving me the watch time. Really do that, I appreciate that. Hit the like. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe.